Good morning, students of class seven. Today we are going to start the exercise 9.1. Last day I have given you the basic points of this chapter. Now here you see that first question is question number two. Question number one is only to find the adjacent angle, so you can do here. Here we have to find angle A O C. Now what happens here? We find that O A and O B. O A and O B are just opposite to each other. Just opposite to each other. So what happens? Angle A O C and angle B O C are the forms of linear pair. And as I have taught you and I have, I have shown you in the last class that one of the axiom is linear pair axiom. And what happens? Angle A O C plus B O C that is the sum of these two angles will be equal to 180 degree. So what I have to write here? I will write A O C plus B O C is equal to 180 degree. We should know one more thing that whenever I write this one, I have to give the reason. Without reason, in geometry you will not get the mark. You cannot score mark. So from here we will write linear pair axiom. What is linear pair axiom? Now angle A O C. A O C is here. And B O C is equal to 78 degree. That is equal to 180 degree. Angle A O C is equal to 180 degree minus 78 degree. Now 180 minus 78 that is 102 degree. So our answer is 102 degree. What we have done here? Here O was a point. O A and O B are just opposite to each other, so angle A O C and B O C forms a linear pair. As it is a linear pair, so angle A O C plus B O C will be equal to 180 degree. So when we get this one, then A O C plus B O C is given as 78 degree is equal to 180. A O C is equal to 180 minus 78, that is 102 degree. This one is our answer. Question number two is completed. Then come to the next question. Question number three. Question number three is. Wow. 
Question number 5 is complement part. Question number 4. Question number 4. First part is find out the complement of empty degree. Complement of empty degree. You know that complementary angles are those angles. The sum of two angles is equal to 90 degree. Then each angle is said to be the complement of the other angle. So complement of 80 degree will be equal to 90 minus 80 degree that is equal to 10 degree. Then the one more question that is third one is some algebraic expression is that is 60 minus x degree. Complement of complement of 60 minus x is equal to 90 minus 60 minus x 
Now here what may happen? 90 minus 60 minus minus plus x. 90 minus 60 is equal to how much? 90 minus 60 is equal to 30. So 30 degree plus x degree. We can write this one 30 plus x to the power degree. That is your answer. By this one you are able to do the question number 4. That is complementary angle. Whenever there is complementary, you have to find out the complementary angle. You will subtract the angle from 90 degree. Then you will get the complement of that angle. Then the next question is supplementary. Supplement of. Question number 5 is supplement of. We have to find out the value of angle BOE, angle BOE comma, angle AOC comma, angle COE. That we have to find these things. Here you may find that, right? AB is a line, AB is a line, therefore 2x plus 33 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree a straight angle that is forming a linear pair 3x is equal to 180 minus 33 x will be equal to 3 divided by 3 that is 60 degree minus 11 degree what I have done here I have just applied my uh, brain and what I have done here, I have divided 3 to all the numbers. So I can get it easily, 49 degree. So x is equal to 49 degree. You find out this one, how I have done here. Otherwise you have to subtract this one and then you 
have to divide in three. So I have done this one more easier way. Now first one is BOE. BOE is this angle. Angle BOE is the two angle AOF. Angle BOE is the two angle AOF. That is vertically opposite angle. Angle AOF is equal to how much? 2x. 2 into 49. 2 into 49 degree. That is equal to 98 degree. Then next one is AOC. AOC is equal to BOD. Angle BOD. That is equal to x is equal to 49 degree. Then third one is COE. COE angle COE is equal to angle BOF BOF is equal to 33 degree Now what happens These three angles are find out and the common reason is that vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angles are equal this one is your question number 9 what we have done here that is first one is AB is a straight line so 2x plus 33 plus x is equal to 9 180 degree then I have solved this one x becomes 49 degree now what happens we have to find first BOE BOE is equal to A that is vertically opposite angle so it will be equal to 2x 2 into 49 that is 98 degree then come to the next question AOC is equal to BOD that is vertically opposite angle that is equal to x that is 49 and COE COE is equal to BOF is equal to 33 degree so we conclude this one huh? question number 9 is completed and now we are going to do the other questions. One question is that is question number 12. Like take you take level you can do yourself. Question number 12. Find the angle which is equal to its complement. Find the angle which is equal to its complement. Angle equal to its complement. How I will do this one? Let the angle be x. Let the angle be x degree. Then complement of x. Complement of x degree is equal to 90 minus x degree. According to question, these two angles are equal. That is x is equal to 90 minus x. That is x, whenever this one is taken here, that is minus will be converted into plus. x plus x is equal to 90 degree. That is 2x is equal to 90 degree. And x is equal to 45. So whenever the complement of 45 is also 45. Question number 30, find out an angle which is equal to its supplement. Equal to its supplement. You have to do yourself this one. I am giving you how you will do this one. Let the angle be x. Let the angle be x degree. Then supplement. will be equal to 180 minus x according to question x is equal to 180 minus x now you will shift this x in this side that is 2x is equal to 180 degree and x will be 90 degree your answer will be 90 degree you have to do from this point then come to the last question and this exercise is completed one more exercise is in chapter 9 that will be complement in next time. Between the two complementary angles, question.
equation number 14 between the two complementary angles the measure of a smaller angle is 30 less than the larger angle find the measurement of both angles let larger angle b x degree the smaller one the smaller one will be 90 minus x because the complement is there but one more clue is there that the larger angle is 36 degree less than that is smaller angle is 36 so that is a smaller angle is equal to x minus 36 that is given according to the condition that is it is 36 degree less than the bigger one so what is here is a smaller angle here is a smaller angle you equate these two you will get the answer so x minus 36 degree is equal to 90 minus x so what may happen we will get x plus x that is equal to 90 plus 36 degree 2x is equal to 126 degree x is equal to 1 2 6 by 2 that is equal to 63 degree the uh, so complement of 63 that is 90 minus 63 will be equal to 27 degree so the smaller angle is 27 degree whenever we are adding this one by 36 then what I got I got 63 so my answer is correct I have checked that what I have made is correct or not that is our larger angle is 36 degree and a smaller angle is larger angle is equal to x is equal to 63 degree the smaller angle is equal to 90 minus 63 that is equal to 27 degree so these two angles we have to find out and we have find out that is 63 and 27 degree c so your first exercise is completed and I think that you can understand this one if you have got some problem with this that is the image is not coming clear then you will tell me then I will solve this questions and tell, send it by telegram to you is it clear? so your exercise 9.1 is completed and the rest questions that we have left that is the rest Questions are you homework? That is very less. I think four or five questions are there. Huh? At rest, I have done for you. Thank you.